So now we are doing question number seven. I hope so. Our question is question number seven. Question number seven says, if A is, if A is neither divisible, neither, if A is divisible by neither two or three, two nor three, so that so that a square minus 1 is divisible by a square minus 1 is divisible by 24 is divisible by 24 by 24 solution okay so here we can write down since a is divisible by by neither two nor three a is of the form six q plus one or we can write as a matter of fact six q minus one even okay we can write down each of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q minus 1. We can write, write down like that. But if you happen to solve 6q plus 1, you just try it out by yourself 6q minus 1 even. Okay. So, now let me do this one. So, we can write down this much. So, where, where q is equal to, from q starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on okay now why like this so 6q okay if 6q okay 6q any number we, we have written 6q plus 1 then a is divisible by neither 6q uh, neither 2 or 3 suppose 6q is equal to 0 then it will be 6 0 so it will be 1 right this will be 1 when q is equal to 0 so 1 is not divisible by 2 and 3 or you can take 6q plus 1 when q is equal to 1 it will be 6 plus 1, 7, 7 is divisible by not, not divisible both the number. So, same thing you can go on and on. Okay. I hope you understood. I have not complicated the things. So, in the form of 4 now, if q is equal to 0 or when q is equal to 0 or when q is equal to 0, we have a square minus 1 okay up here look here so a square minus 1 a will be 6q my plus 1 whole square minus 1 q we have the value of q is 0 so it will be 6 into 0 plus 1 whole square minus 1 6 0 is a 0 plus 1 whole square minus 1 plus 1 square it will be 1 minus 1 will be 0 so 0 is divisible by 24 0 is divisible by any number therefore it is divisible like or we can say 0 which is divisible by 24 okay next so when Q is equal to 1. Okay. A square minus 1 is equal to 6. 6 Q plus 1 whole square minus 1. Okay. Instead of A, we are putting 6 Q plus 1, which I have already written here. 6 Q plus 1. So I can write down this as Q instead of q put 1 so it will be 6 into 1 plus 1 whole square minus 1 6 1 is 6 plus 1 it is 7 7 square minus 1 7 7 is 49 49 this is plus 1 or minus 1 minus 1 yeah so 49 minus 1 
which is 48. This 48 is divisible by which is also divisible by 24. Okay, now one step more, one more, let, let us say when q is equal to 2, then a square minus 1 is equal to 6q plus 1 whole square minus 1. Instead of q, we are putting 2. So it will be 6 into 2 plus 1 whole square minus 1. So 6 to the 12 plus 1 whole square minus 1. 12 plus 1, 13 square, 13, 13, 169 minus 1. 169 minus 1, it will be 168. 168 is also divisible by 24. 168 divided by 24. Okay, how much it is? Then 4 to the 8, 24 into 7, 7 for the 28, 7 to the 14, 15, 16, 168. So 24 into 7, it will be 168. So we can say which is also divisible by 24, which is also divisible by 24. Let me take one more. When q is equal to 3, then a square minus 1, it will be 6q plus 1 whole square minus 1. q will be 3. 6 into 3 plus 1 whole square minus 1. 6 to the 18. 18 plus 1, 19 whole square minus 1. Calculate this one and find it out. So 19 into 19, how much it will be? 19 square. 9 and the 81, 18 and 1, 9 and the 9, 9 at 17, 9 and the 9, 9 1, 1 and the 1. So it will be 1. So 7, 7, 7, 14, 15, 16, 2, 3. 3, 6, 1 minus 1, it will be 360. So check whether 360 is divisible by 24 or not. Let us check 360 by 24. 24 into 15. You check it out 15. 5 for the 20, 5 to the 10, 11, 12, 4 on the 4, 2 on the 2, 0, 4, 5, 6, 3, 360. So 24 into 15 is 360. Therefore, we can say which is also divisible by 24. Therefore, or which is also divisible by also divisible by 24 okay now therefore similarly you can keep doing okay q is equal to 4 q is equal to 5 go on and on similarly we can prove or it can be proved it can be proved that a square minus 1 is divisible by 24 when q is equal to 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next video.